Hello, good evening, good evening. Hello, Heidi, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher, good evening. You're, I listen. you're always on time. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. So are you ready for today's session? Teacher, mm -hmm. you cut your hair. Oh yeah, I did. You know, it was, I had it like, <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were not going to notice, but yeah, new look. I did. Yeah, new look, you know, I was tired of my old look. This is something different. <laughs> yeah, the okay. thing is that um, I, work in, I work at school, like during the day, but we already finished classes, so I can have you know, a different look. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. You're finished uh, now. Actually, we already finished. Yeah, with students, we finished at school. We're just, you know, um, checking attendance, checking pending evaluations, but we have finished already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Genius. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what about you? How's work? I, my core is a supervisor is the Monday and Saturday. Okay, so you yes. are a supervisor. Okay. Yes, teacher. Great, I imagine. So you are in charge of making sure everything is going well, supervising, monitoring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Well, um, Heidi, thank you so much for asking and thank you so much for sharing about your day and what you do. We are going to start our session, and today's session is about adjectives. I don't know if you have heard or if you already watched the video about adjectives, or maybe we're going to watch it together and we can talk about it on this one hour session. Have you had a chance to watch the video? Oh, uh, no, no, teacher. Not yet. Okay. Not, not a, yet. Not a uh, problem. The the weekend right on, weekend. Oh, over, weekend. over the weekend yeah nice yes, yes. sounds perfectly fine and um well we're going to study about this topic which is adjectives and um i want to start by sharing my screen let's see okay. hold on and what about the first two sections have you completed the sections the first yes, two yes, ones yes. all right that's yes, great yes. Perfect, that's really good. And um, if you have uh, any chance, any question in regards um, of the previous exercises, don't hesitate to let me know, because that is important for me as well. Thank so you. Let, let's see, thank you. So we have, um, this is just a second, section or session number six, okay. So we welcome today's topic, participles as adjectives. And we have talked about participles already. And what do you remember about uh, participles? What did we say about participles? Any idea that comes to your mind? Welcome, Blanky. Hi, teacher. I Only has Heidi and I. You see, this is personalized. Yes, session. Blanky. <laughs> oh my God, what happened with it's, the, the, the others? It's, it's Friday. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, for this, is, for this, this class is Friday because we don't have classes <laughs> tomorrow. So we only, we're, we're gonna be only um, three of us connected, which is cool. <laughs> okay, oh you see? So I was telling Heidi that today we're gonna to study a topic which is about adjectives. Okay. I don't know if you have already um, watched the video on the session, but if you haven't done it, no worries. We're gonna study it on this session. And what do you guys, what do you to remember about participles? What do we say? What is a participle? Any idea that comes to your mind? Honestly, I really, I don't you, know. You don't remember? Okay. And remember that we said something like um, past participle? Past participle, yes. Okay. 
All right. And what is past participle? What did we say? I, I need to see my notes. So no well. problem. Maybe <laughs> Heidi or maybe Nelsie rem can remember. Can you help us? What do we say a, a past participle is? Um, the past, the, the structure. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. The structure mm -hmm. is the verb, a subject mm -hmm. must verb have in the past. Mm -hmm. Must the pars, ma, pars, participle mm -hmm. of the verb okay. and the, the complement. Nice. So that is uh, present perfect, right? Present perfect. Ah. For, exactly. Present perfect is that the formula you're saying, which is a have or has plus ah. participle. And then only participles, we have two type of participles that we are going to study today. Number one, this is past participles. Number two, present participles. But this is the thing, we are going to study then into a different topic. We are going to use these participles as adjectives. Okay, so we are not going to talk about present perfect itself. We are going to use these um, participles to describe nouns. Remember that an adjective basically describes a noun. For example, an adjective that is not a participle, beautiful, for example, that is an adjective. It's not a participle, but it's, but it's an adjective. She is beautiful. It's telling me that she, she is describing the, the subject, uh, I mean, beautiful is describing the subject she. So beautiful is the adjective. Now, what are those participles that we can use as adjective? And that is today's topic, okay? So um, we have participles. In this case, we're going to study the one that ends with ed, okay? Ed. Maybe you already know this, maybe. And you just don't know how to name it, but we're going to start it on this session. So let's get started, okay? Let me see, look at this example. Let me, let me move on. Participles, here we go. Okay, take a look at this one. We have these adjectives, which are describing how we feel, and they end with ed, okay? Can you help me, uh, Nelsie, read the first example today? Okay. Today, I feel amazed. Amazed. Good. Blank. Amazed. Can you read the second one? I was so bored. Bored. Good. Bored. Heidi, can you help us with the number three? I'm the last one here. I was not confused. I wasn't confused. As you can see, good. These three adjectives here ends with ed. So if an adjective ends with ed, it is considered a past participle because ends with ed, okay? Now, can you tell me any other example that comes to your mind of an adjective that ends with ed? Any other adjective that ends with ed? Smiling. Say it again, please. Uh, the smiling girl is my sister. Smiling. Smiley. Smiling. Smiled. Stressed. Stress. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he's smiling. Tired. 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 Let's think about positive ones. Come on. <laughs> so the stress. <laughs> Tired. It's an example. <laughs> I know it is. Oh, but worked is worked an adjective. Can we use the, the worked as an adjective? Is it common? Let's think about, there are some of them that they end with ed, but they cannot be used as adjective. Most of them can be used, but some of them, um, we rarely use them or they might not make sense. So can you think of other possible ones with ED? 
Is I enjoyed. Okay, can we use enjoyed as an adjective? Or is only a verb in the past? Mm, it's a verb. Okay, so let's think about other possible words that can be used as an adjective. So how do we know it's an adjective? Okay, this is the, this is the, the tip. If this word describes a noun, a situation, people, etc., then it's, it's an adjective because it's describing, okay? So what others do you um, recall? Maybe you know them, but then it's just that at this moment, we don't um, remember them. So this is the first idea, class. The first great. idea. Could be great. 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 Yeah, actually great is an adjective. It's not considered into this category because it doesn't end with ed, but great is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have this first idea, if. The verb, I mean, is if the adjective ends with ed, sometimes that they, they are verbs that ends with the ed, they are considered past participles, okay? But they can be used as adjectives, okay? That's the first idea. I want to mention the second idea. Take a look at this one. Boom, we have uh, three more examples. Number one, uh, let's see. Uh, I need a volunteer to read. How many are we connected? Oh, we are 11 connected. That's really cool. So I thought it was only three, four. Let me see who's here. Oh, Claudia. Claudia is here. Claudia, help me with the first example. I'm bored. Continue. I'm bored because the field is boring. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Rina, read number two. Rina? No. Bea Duran, read number two. I am bored when I'm with Tom because he is boring. Thank you. And I'm going to ask uh, Brice to read the last one. I was excited at the concert because it was exciting. Thank you so much. Uh, before I continue, I want to just remind you about the pronunciation of the ED. Guys, remember the pronunciation? Hello? Hello, hello. Okay, I want to remind you about the There's an open mic. Check your phone. Dígale, dígale que ore por nosotros. Y más decir que la la podíamos orar. Ay, ve, se te cubre cama, pues podríamos salir. I, I just muted her, okay, no problem. So um, let's keep talking about this. We have this, this is something that I want to remind you guys about the pronunciation because I just heard the word. And remember that the ED has only three possible sounds, okay? Is either T, tango, D, delta, or the extra syllable, which is ED, okay? So in this case, this ED is D because the letter we have here, the last one is R. So we say board, board, board. This one is extra syllable because it, it, it has a T in here. So excited, don't forget that. So you don't say board. So you don't say exit or excite. No, you say excited, extra syllable. Just a reminder about what I gave you on the previous classes about how to pronounce the ED. This is same formula, the same uh, categories, the same sounds apply for adjectives in here. Now, in these three examples, we have something extra, and that will be, look at this one, boring, boring, and exciting. So that means that we have two type of uh, participles. Oh, there's a mistake here. This is, this is an A, just ignore it. <laughs> okay, so boring is present participle. Boring is present participle. 
exciting is present participle. So we have borrowed and borrowed. What's the difference? How do I know if it is uh, the correct one to be used, borrowed or boring? How do I know if excited is the correct one that fits on the situation or exciting? Excited or exciting. So what's the difference? Maybe you already know this. You can open your mic and give me your ideas or whatever comes to your mind is okay. So what's the difference? What comes to your mind? Maybe, maybe the first is when the past uh, and the, when you use boring, it's not, um, not the time exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Blanky is telling us that it, it has to do with the time, with the time, yes. right? past or present or something like that okay any other idea yeah i think that uh, board is used for the people and boring is the action for okay we're getting closer so boring for people and uh, bored for people and boring for actions okay getting very close to them to, to the idea I want to give you an example. This class, if this class is boring, what happened? You and I get bored. If this class is boring, Angie, you, me, whoever is in this class is bored or get bored. Okay, so what does it mean or what's the difference? Boring is what? And bored is what? Mm -hmm. Bored is just a... There are two things that I want to mention, but may, maybe you can, um, let, me, let, let me give you one more uh, example, maybe with another adjective. If the Bore, book borrow it for a simple action. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Imagine I the, uh -huh. the first borrow. The, the, I think the borrow is the simple action, the verb, and borrowing is the action for the all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, it's simple and then, oh, there's something else that we haven't um, discovered yet, but I'm sure we're going to get it in just less than a minute. Take a look at this example. It should. Go ahead. The speed is the, I bought it is the one person uh -huh. and the boring is the most, most person on like, the general. General, I see. Okay, there's something else that I want to still mention. And this is what I want to say. Thank you for your ideas. Let me give you one more example. Imagine you are reading a book. Okay, the book. If the book is interesting, you are interested. If the book itself is interesting, you are interested in reading the book. So if it's not interesting, you might not be interested in the book. Because you use the participle. The, hmm. yeah, or and the no. feeling, the have the feeling okay. for the, the, the people, the, exactly. the feeling. Exactly, there you go, there you go. You just said it, uh -huh. ED, ED. The, the first Hmm? The, the first the first mention the verb is about the, the stuff but the second the verb is uh, mention the feeling mm -hmm. okay so if it is ed it has to do with what something 
temporary. It's just a feeling, okay? It's, it's, it can be just something very temporary that is not like that. It doesn't remain like that. If I am bored, it might be because the class is boring, okay? So ing causes a feeling, causes something. ED expresses the feeling, okay? So if the book is interesting, that is making you and I feel interested, okay? If the class is boring, what happened? I am bored. So imagine if you are boring, that's, that's a problem, if you're boring. Because if you're boring, nobody would like to be with you. Okay, you might be bored because it's only temporary and it's just a feeling. Feelings are temporary and they change, okay? So ING, it's like that, okay? That causes a feeling. But then ED, temporary feeling being expressed, okay? Yes, no, more or less. Give me an example. What do you think? Can you think about any other adjective? I am very, I am um, sad, sadness, no, sad. Oh, sad is, okay, and what is the other one? Because, because the, my job is boring. Okay, oh, no. my job is boring. No, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. And the point in here is how to use participles, okay? Yes. The participles present or past to describe, you know, something, okay? Uh, maybe, you know, while you think about other examples, I'm going to uh, give you more ideas, okay? I know that you might already know the followings. Let me see. Oops, this is from the video. That's why it looks kind of blurry. Okay, maybe if you have the, the chance to watch the video, you're going to find this on the video, okay? Can we read these examples, please? Can I have a volunteer to read the first one? Stephen? Stephen, Stephen, King's, King. Stephen King's books are fascinating. Okay, uh, the second one on the present participles, um, Blanky? The last James Bond, Film was boring. Thank you so much, Claudia. Next one. Sorry, the new Halberry movie sounds interesting. Good. As you can see, all these ones are present participles, which means that we have endings in ing form, and they are describing how they are. Like in a way, you said it like earlier general things, that's the way they are. It's nothing temporary, it's not describing a feeling, just, it's just the way they are, okay? It's, this is ING form, okay? So the new Hell Fairy movies sounds interesting. That's the way they are, okay? Now let's take a look at the past participles on the other column. Let me ask uh, volunteers, or maybe I'm going to choose. Let's see, to see if these people are connected. <laughs> Diome, Diomesis, Tito, hello, Tito. Okay, Rina. Hello, I am fascinated by Stephen, Stephen King's book. Okay, you see, you're there. That's really good. Thank you so much. Uh, Alex, the next one, please. I, I was bored, bored. Mm -hmm. I did last change to feel. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Boris, finish the last one, please. I'm interested in the new Halberry movie. Thank you so much. That's the attitude. Good. So we have other ideas in here. Fascinating, fascinated, boring, bored, interesting, interested. These are the most common adjectives we can find, but there are many more. Okay. So let's continue. This is on the video, but then, so what, ex what, is, uh, what exactly is the past participle? Well, is the ones that end with ed, 
Basically, that's the answer. Now, this is what we already tried to explain. An adjective describes a noun, that's for sure, right? Let's look at this example. Let's read then. Bea, can you read the example here, please? That white cat. The white cat was exiting to watch. Okay, that white cat was exciting, exciting to watch. Exciting. Exactly. So basically the cat is the noun, okay? And when we use exciting, we are describing, you know, the, the noun basically. So what, what I want to mention or highlight from this is that an adjective describes a noun, okay? And now we are using participles to describe nouns. We can use present uh, participles or past participles. Present participles end with ing and past participle ends with ed. Okay, that's what I wanted to highlight. Let's continue because there are more things to mention, okay? Present and past participles. ing describes a noun, okay? ed, we already said it, describes feelings, okay? Feelings something temporary. Maybe you want to write this down. This is very important, okay? So you don't forget, ED, describe a feeling. I'm going to give you one minute you to write this down. Okay, let's continue. We have ing describes a noun, and it describes a feeling of a noun. Let's move on. So ing, guys, is often the reason or, or cause. Why we say this? Because ing causes a feeling, causes something. So that's why I was saying if this class is boring, is going to make you feel bored, is going to cause this reaction, okay? So that's why ED expresses feelings or reaction to something, okay? So if uh, something is disgusting, you might be disgusted. If something is annoying, for example, maybe your neighborhood uh, or the background, there are a lot of noise, or maybe your neighborhood at this time, you're trying to uh, listen to the class, but there is a lot of noise or maybe playing loud music. So that would be annoying for you. So you feel annoyed by what's going around, okay? So if that would be annoying, you are annoyed. Imagine you are at a restaurant ordering your favorite food and all of a sudden a fly in your dish that is disgusting, you feel or you are disgusted, okay? So that's basically how it works. I'm going to give you one or two minutes to think about other possible scenarios or adjectives with this same um, spelling and, and just go ahead and share them, maybe on the chat or open your mic and participate, okay? Think about other ones, please. And just go ahead and say, What else can we say? So is there anyone who wants to participate or maybe can say, hey, I remember this one now and I want to share it with, with my class.
Hello, teacher. Uh, you you need an example of uh -huh. object. Exactly. Do you have any other any other adjective that you would like to share? That you just remind. Uh huh. Grateful. Oh, grateful. Grateful is one of them. Uh, grateful is an adjective. It's not considered a participle because it's mm. not ing. It's not. It's not ed. But grateful is an adjective, of course. Mm. So, so maybe the challenge. The challenge here is that we need to find the the, the ones that end with ing or ed. That's the one. I was tired at work. <laughs> Yes, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> I was tired. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, let me uh, continue because time, look at this one. This is your, um, what, <laughs> challenge for today. I'm gonna give you maybe one screenshot this and start, you know, solving this exercise. You guys are going to use these adjectives here. Amaze, annoy, confuse, disgust, embarrassed, and, let me see, and shock. So the, the challenge here is how are we going to use it? Is it ing or is it ed? Okay, so screenshot. And I'm gonna give you maybe it's five minutes for this. You need to think about it. I will also suggest you writing it down, okay, on your notebook. I know it won't take that long, so I'm going to give you some time. Go ahead, please. Write it and solve it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember mm -hmm. the word annoying. Annoyed, okay. What does it mean? If something is really stressing you, okay? If something is, uh, let me, give me a second, please. I got a message on my computer. It says, oops. It says, do you want to restart your computer? <laughs> Yes, and then, yeah. It, and, it's, and, <laughs> and in other time. <laughs> yeah, just give me some minute. Okay, yeah, so annoy means, imagine like, like, like what I was saying, something that makes you feel really uncomfortable, something that bothers you, something that it might even get you really angry, okay? So that's annoying, something, you know, um, that like makes you feel- Like to enfadado? It can be. <laughs> Yeah, no, annoy is like, I would say, in a higher degree than angry, okay? So, okay. like this, angry, annoyed, and then pissed off. <laughs> You're like, really pissed off. It means that you are... Catching ball. And catching, and catching baby. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah. So, that would be like, kind of like the scale, uh, angry, annoyed, and then you have pissed off, and you like... You're really, really angry. So it can be like that. Okay, so let's finish this paragraph and then we're going to share it. Let's take three more minutes.
if you finish just on the chat say finished please so so we can start checking the answers We have one who finished. Thank you, Claudia. We're going to wait one more minute. Okay, I got one more, Breeze. Thank you. Uh, one more, three people finish, okay? It's taking a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, thank you, Blanky, four people, and we are 15, 14, so I need to give maybe one more minute. But this is how we're gonna do it because I want everybody to talk and breathe. This is a, this is a good exercise. I want you to compare your answers. And the only way that we can compare it like this, this way is, is by going to our uh, small groups and we can compare the answers, okay? So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Uh, make sure you guys uh, check your answers in groups. I'm going to create, let's see, we are 14. So I'm going to make groups of two or three and you guys start interchanging your ideas to see if you guys have the same, okay? So here we go. Then we're going to share as a whole class. Hello, Alex. Hello. Hello, teacher. I have well, a problem. Uh -huh. What happened? No problem. No problem. We are going to um, uh, wait for the others to come back. And this is what, and did you finish the, uh, the exercise? Okay, teacher. Did, did you finish, uh, Alex, or not? This one, take a look at the screen. This one, did you finish it or not? No. 
Okay, let's finish it. Okay, people are coming back. Alex, I'm going to um, wait for a little bit more. Okay, thank you so much. People are returning, coming back. Just one more minute. Okay. Okay, more people are coming. Okay, I think time is over, time is up. Good. I would like to hear some of you reading this paragraph, but I think there are still some who, okay, haven't come back yet, but they're coming. We are 11 and we were 14. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and check the answers here. I need, uh, I don't know if you guys had the same or you had to change any adjective. And so in this case, we need to make sure we check on ing or ed and the correct position, right, in the blanks. So who wants to volunteer? I want to listen to your ideas. Anybody? In the, in the first, mm -hmm. I, I was really disgusted. Disgusted. Okay. Do you have a? Do you have the same? Do you guys agree with? Uh, how do you say your name? Is this Sh Sh Sirhan? Which? Which? Sirhan. Sirhan. Okay, Sirhan. Okay. Or Mr. Rivera. <laughs> so, do you guys agree? <laughs> okay. Breeze, what is it, Breeze? What do you have? At the first, I write, I was really shocked, shocked with finally ED. Okay, with the ED sound. So we have two different answers. We have uh, disgusted and we have shocked. Is there any other possible solution for this? Uh, Alex, what do you have? Uh, for me, the first one is amazing. Amazing. Okay, we have three adjectives. We have... I had a terrible time at the movies first. My ticket cost $10. I was really amazing, disgusted, 
shocked by the price. So what is it then? I have three different, nobody has said it. Annoyed, okay, we have four. So we have annoyed, shocked, amazing, and disgusted. Is there any other? Anybody who agrees? I'm sorry? Confused. Is confused. Five dollars is because. Mm -hmm. So we have we have confused <laughs> guys. I like it. We have confused. We have un disgusted, amazing, annoyed. annoyed. So what's the answer then? So let's analyze this a little bit deeper because we have to, you know, we have to place them in the correct one. Okay, okay. there there must be a solution. Maybe we want to see the full picture. Okay. Maybe if we see the full picture, then we might need the one you're saying in the other blanks. So what did you write where it says, I gave the cashier a five bill instead of 10? I was a little, what did you write there? I was a little, Reese? Embarrassing. I was a little embarrassing. Confused, teacher. Confused. No, teacher. I am angry. No, be, 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 because the first the first sentence is 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 uh, mm -hmm. What do you say? Is uh, <laughs> shock is for the price. Shock. Okay. Shocked by the price. I agree with that. I was really shocked with was ED. Really, was really annoyed. Mm, annoyed, maybe not in this one because the price is $10. <laughs> wow, I can't believe this. So I was shocked with ED. Is a reaction to something. You're shocked. It's just a feeling, temporary feeling. So shocked with ED. Let's leave it like that, okay? And now let's talk about the second one. We have, I gave the cashier a five bill instead of a 10. Five. So what happened, class, if I you're charging me $10 and I give you $5 by mistake? What happened? How do you feel or how, or how would you feel if you give me, I'm charging you 10, but you give me five? How do you feel? I confused. Confused. Embarrassed. Embarrassed, very good, embarrassed. Embarrassed. I feel embarrassed. embarrassed. It's not embarrassado, okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> because I a remember. Shine. A shame, Perfect. a shame. Exactly, ashamed. Uh, I remember that once one of my teachers, he said, he, he is an American, he said, you know what, my, my first name is Jesus. So he used to call me Jesus. He said, hey, um, you know what, Jesus, I feel, me siento embarazado. And I was like, why do you say that? Because he wanted to say that he, he was like, uh, apenado right no. embarrassed but then embarrassed does not means you know this is a false cognate false cognate okay so in this case the best one would be embarrassed because you're charging me 10 and i'm giving you five so that's a little bit embarrassing the situation is embarrassing but you and me might feel embarrassed with ed okay good sorry is this the first word sorry and my internet is is but the first the, is the, the first one is shocked. Okay. Shocked. Right. The shocked. second one is embarrassed. Virus. Yes. Embarrassed. Okay. okay. What about what about the next one? There. Then there was trash all over. Disgust. Disgust. The mess Annoying. was. Disgusting. Disgust. Oh, disgusting. 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 Yes. Correct. 
disgusting. disgusting. The situation is disgusting. Just imagine you enter a theater and you see like a lot of trash on the floor. You know, that's really disgusting. The situation is disgusting. It, it, gets, it makes you feel disgusting. So the situation is disgusting, disgusting, okay? Let's keep talking. The people, being in the talking during the movie, which I was embarrassing. Em mm. We already used Anno embarrassed. Annoying. 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 Yes. Anno annoying. 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 annoying because the situation is annoying. The people, you can say behind or even behind. You decide. Both pronunciations are accepted. So you say, the people behind me, the people behind me talked during the movie, which was annoying. 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 That was annoying. Oh, yeah. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too. Confused. 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 Amazed. Hmm. I, I always find thrillers too. Amazing. The story, Amazing. listen, the story was hard to follow. Hard, difficult to follow. I always find thrillers too. What Confused. is Confused. 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 Confusing. Confusing because it is describing the thrillers. The thrillers are always like that for him. Okay. It's not something temporary. The thrillers for me are confusing. So that's if that's the way they are. It's not temporary. And then I liked the special effects, though they were amazing. 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 Because the, the special effects, that's the way they are. And this is describing, you know, the situation. Amazing. Okay. So uh, if you have the answers, guys, I want you to please read the entire paragraph. Maybe I want to listen to a couple, like one or two volunteers to read the entire paragraph. Who wants to do it? I have uh, I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost ten dollars. I was really shocked. 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 Shocked by the price. Shocked. Remember, remember shocked. the pronunciation. ED. The last sound shock. Shock. K sound shock. Shock. Excellent. Shock. Uh-huh. I was really shocked, shocked by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of the 10. I was a little embarrassed. And then there was trash all over, all over the theater. The mess was uh, disgusting. Um, the people behind me talked talked during the movie, which was um, annoyed. The he the history was hard to follow. I always find the thrillers too. Uh, I I always find I I always find thrillers too confusing. I like the special effects, so they were amazing. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Story, story, story. And this is a story, like, like a tale story. Okay, uh, Claudia, I think you wanted to read, please. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost 10, $10. I was really a bill instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassed. Then there was a trash all over the theater. The mess was uh, disgusting. The people behind me talked during the movie, which was annoying. The story was hard to follow. I always fight the thrillers too. 
confusing. I like the special effect, though they were amazing. Cool, thank you so much. Yeah, they were amazing, thank you. Well, exactly, that's the, the correct um, answer and that's the correct pronunciation. Thank you so much, guys. We have four minutes. Uh, do you guys have questions about this text vocabulary or is there any specific question in regards uh, to the exercises on the platform? Or are we okay? No questions? You find it really easy? <laughs> or you haven't done that? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, work on them, please. You have you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and, and to complete everything there because this week, which ends on Tuesday, you you are going to take one midterm. Remember that, and I want you to please screenshot, guys, the next one, and this is on the so you can do it as part of as part of your homework. This is on the next video, but I want you to screenshot or maybe write it down. We're not going to finish it because we only have two or three minutes, but I want you to classify, okay? The discharge in synonyms, okay? Awful, wonderful, stupid, strange. So take a look at these uh, 12 adjectives and also classify them in these categories, okay? And we are going to check this on next class. Okay, so just go ahead and write it down. Maybe at this moment you want to you only have one or one minute more. So write it down or take a picture of this and have it ready. Awful, what is a synonym of awful? Wonderful, what is a synonym of wonderful? Stupid, you don't wanna say stupid, say something different, so what do we say? So that's the, that's the thing. And... Um. <laughs> can be so just go ahead and and work on this during the weekend over the weekend and then we are going to check it on this coming monday if if uh, hopefully okay so do you have any additional question guys or comments for uh, for the moment no to chair so far so good nice well, thank you. Like <laughs> somebody's yeah. somebody's doing something on the screen. Come on. Hey, okay. So it's always a nice experience with you guys. Have a great rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend. Practice your English and have a nice night. Bye. -bye. Take care. Thank you, teacher. All right. Bye. -bye. Good night. Good night. Thank bye -bye. you, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night guys. Bye. 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 -bye.